Right. Rob, uh, huge congratulations on the new contract. Are you pleased to get it done? Oh yeah, it's um, it's something I've kind of like kind of fo focused on a little bit, trying to put it put it in the back back a little bit. But no, it's nice to try and um, get it all signed and sealed, and uh, now I'll kind of really focus on the next uh, next two well three years basically. When you started at Gloucester, your obvious ambitions were to be to nail down a place in the squad, and uh, now you're taking part in uh, big wins such as the one on Saturday against Perpignan. Yeah, I mean. I'm, First of all, I think I was just more than more than happy just to be kind of here in the environment, not really worried about kind of kind of uh, getting a starting place. But all I wanted was a was an opportunity to um, to, to play, and I, I got it. And I'd like to think I, I took my chance. So uh, um, yeah, it's 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 nice nice to be in, and well, getting in, being involved in wins like that at the weekend is just just makes kind of a little bit of a dream come true. So you look back at your time with the Pirates as well, then. Juki and Sioni have come from the championship like yourself and it shows what a good breeding ground that, that league is. Oh yeah, I mean if you look oh, I was actually I was speaking to Johnny Bentley the, the other the other day like about some of the boys who were uh, who come from kind of just the pirates. I think it's uh, about nineteen came from our, our year when we played against Worcester and, and they're all playing in the premiership or or Rabo, you know, it's um it's a hell of a breeding ground, and I think there's some really, some really good players. And it, I think it's only only good for probably well for the championship, but also for the Premiership as well. So, I mean, some of the boys who've gone, I think as well, a few of them are pl playing England who played Championship rugby, you know. So it's uh, it's it's a great great place to play rugby. And obviously, looking back to Saturday as well, uh, your first taste of Heineken Cup rugby, and what a special evening that was. Yeah, it was uh, a bit topsy turvy all the way through, but uh, no, it was, uh, it was good to get the win in the end. Um, we we needed, I think we I think we deserved it. Uh, we played probably the better rugby, um, so yeah, it's, it's nice to nice to get a win. Hopefully, hopefully we've got a bit of confidence now going into this week. Um, yeah, and just hopefully it can uh, really propel us through the rest of the season. Obviously, now you've got your future sorted. Uh, how far can this team go? I think we have got the potential to be be top four. Uh, it's just about being consistent. If we're consistent and put a performance in every week, then on our day we're we're unbeatable. But it's just about that consistency and being ruthless. When when we actually do get in the lead, actually putting teams to bed, we have we create enough opportunities. It's just uh, it's just finishing it. So yeah, I think I think yeah, we're just taking one game at a time. We're not we're not rushing things, uh, and we're just building. It's a long season, so. All it takes, have a good run in that middle middle part, and then uh, I think we'll be flying. Rob, thanks for your time. No worries.